Welcome to Stories and Rhymes, oh my. I'm Valerie, and today we are gonna share stories and rhymes about worms. Wiggly, squiggly, muddy worms. Are you ready? We're gonna start with a fun little flannel board story called Four Wiggly Worms. Four little worms on the garden lawn, wriggling around at the crack of dawn. Along comes a magpie, just like that. Yum, yum, yum. Now that little worm is in her tum. How many worms do we have left? One, two, three. Three little worms on the garden lawn, wriggling around at the crack of dawn. Along comes the magpie. Yum, yum, yum. Another worm is in her tum. How many we have left? One, two. Two wiggly worms on the garden lawn. Along comes a, a magpie. Yum, yum, yum. And now he's in her tum. One little worm on the garden lawn, wiggling around at the crack of dawn. Along comes the magpie, yum, yum, yum. And now there's no little worms on the garden lawn. But the magpie's got a full belly. All right, now we're gonna tell a fable. I love fables. This one, of course, is gonna be about worms. There once was a king who ruled over all the men and animals. He had a very big house to which he used to invite his subjects to a feast. After the feast had been held, it was custom of the people to make speeches. One day after the feast, the head driver ant got up and said he and his people were stronger than anyone and that no one, not even the elephant, could stand before him, which was quite true. He was particularly offensive with his allusions to the worms, whom he disliked very much, and said that they were poor, wriggly, smelly things. The worms were very angry and complained. So the king said that the best way to decide the question who was the stronger was for both sides to meet on the road and fight the matter out between themselves to a finish. He appointed the third day from the feast for the contest, and all the people turned out to witness the battle. The driver ants left their nest in the early morning, thousands and millions as their custom. They marched in a line about one inch broad, densely packed, so that it was like a dark brown band moving over the country. In front of the advancing column, they had out their scouts, advanced guards, flankers, and the main body followed in the millions close behind. When they came to the battlefield, the moving band spread out, and as the thousands upon thousands of ants rolled up, the whole piece of the ground was a moving mass of ants and a bunches of struggling worms. The fight was over in only a few minutes, as the worms were bitten to pieces by the sharp pinchers like mouths of the driver ants. The few worms who survived squirmed away and buried themselves out of sight. The king decided that the driver ants were easy winners, and ever since then, the worms have always been afraid and have lived underground. And if they happen to come up to the surface after the rain, they hide themselves under the ground whenever anything else approaches, as they fear all things and all people. And that's a little fable about worms. Okay. Did you ever see a wiggly worm, a wiggly worm, a wiggly worm? Did you ever see a wiggly worm go this way and that, move this way and that way and this way and that way? Did you ever see a wiggly worm move this way and that? Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Guess I'll just go eat worms. Long ones, thin ones, slimy ones, short ones, fat ones, juicy ones, itsy, bitsy, buzzy, wuzzy worms. Down goes the first one, yum, yum, yum. Down goes the second one, yum, yum, yum. Oh, how they wiggle and they squirm. 
Up comes the first one, pop. Up comes the second one, pop. Oh, how they wiggle and they squirm. Okay, so we have another song. It's called This Little Worm. This little worm, wiggly worm, he goes creeping through the dirt with a squirm and a squiggle and a dig, 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 hide from the robin, oh so big. <laughs> Short and sweet, right? All right, our next story has another worm in it and his name is Herman. This is Herman the Worm. Herman the Worm, me sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum, playing with my yo-yo, Along comes Herman the Worm, and he was this big. I said, Herman, what's the matter? I ate a car. Here I am, sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum, playing with my yo-yo, and along comes Herman the Worm, and he's this big. What's wrong, Herman? What's the matter? I ate a truck. There I am, sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum, playing with my yo-yo, and along comes Herman the Worm. I said, Herman, what's the matter? And he's this big. I ate a bus. There I am, sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum, playing with my yo-yo, and along comes Herman the Worm. And he's this big. Herman, what's the matter? I ate a train. <laughs> Here I am, sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum, playing with my yo-yo. And along comes Herman the Worm. And he's this big. Herman, what happened? I burped, burp, and that's Herman the Worm. I hope you enjoyed our worm stories today. See you next time.